Guys, what's up? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a dad dual commentary episode number 13. Getting pretty high up there with these dad dual comms. And the gameplay you guys are going to be looking at is a 62 and 6 solo gameplay on my old account. This is a very, very old gameplay on the map dome, regular 6v6 domination. So introduce yourself, dad. What's up, Warriors? Yeah, this is my gameplay, actually. Um, it, it, it did, <laughs> you it took wish. Me, you <laughs> yeah, I do wish. Because it would take me like seven or eight games to get 62 kills. So, um, you know, but, but you did it in one, apparently. Apparently I did, because that's what we're watching right now. So you've been thinking about this topic a lot recently, and well, you've been yeah, wanting to I, share it. I was, I was talking to a, a friend about, you know, uh, he actually had some troubles, and, and uh, he actually had to go to uh, rehab. And he was, I was talking to him, he got out, and I was talking to him about it, and, and uh, I thought, you know, that's, what, what he went through was, was, was pretty amazing, uh, you know, because, I mean, people, oftentimes they get themselves in trouble with drugs, I'm sure you've heard of that, um, you know, and, and, and then they have to go to rehab, because they start doing things that they shouldn't do, and, and, and as he told me about it, I thought, that sounds really interesting, because you go into rehab, I mean, you, right, you live there, you, are you aware of that? Free living space. Yeah. So you. So well. Yeah. So you go there and the, and and you live there and and they feed you, right? Kind of like your life, actually. <laughs> A lot I think like my life. I think you're in rehab right now. Basically. Um, yeah. I mean. It, so you. So you go there. They don't expect anything. You don't have to work when you're in rehab. And uh, you know, my life's been pretty bu busy recently. So I thought, you know what? Maybe maybe I should go to rehab. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Because I was thinking either a cruise, or I could go to rehab. Is rehab free? No. Well, your insurance takes care of it, so yeah. What? Well, but vacation isn't free. That's true. Rehab sounds like a really, really nice place. Well, it might be because because I think I think he was telling me you know you wake up in the morning and and they serve your breakfast, so you go to the meal. You know, it's kind of like a cruise. You know, you get to eat first thing in the morning, and then you go to group, and and in group, you know, people talk people people tell some amazing stories. I mean, the the horrible things that they've done because of the drugs that they've taken and things like that. Oh. Um, you know that so so you hear some really really cool things um, you know in a cruise you might sit by the pool or whatever but um, it, if he found that if when he told about the whole, most horrible things that he ever did because he was drunk or he's you know using drugs or taking pills or whatever people said you're so brave we're so proud of you <laughs> you know you you, you, you you tell the truth and you're honest about these horrible horrible things you did and then they say he's great you know, and he said you never have to change out of your pajamas. You get to stay in your pajamas all day long at the rehab. Sounds a lot like my life nowadays. Yeah, I know. So I was thinking, it's you know, it's kind of it sounds like a pretty kickback life. So I, I don't know. I was trying to figure out what I could become addicted to, so <laughs> just, that just so I could try go to, to rehab. get in there. That... Well, he said, and he said, he said at night they, you know, like they'll have bingo or you know, just games and stuff like that. So maybe they do Call of Duty. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's possible. It's Some possible. of them drop my abs. Yeah, I think so. I think I think the people who've been in the rehab the longest are probably the best at Call of Duty. Do you, have you ever played with somebody who's in in rehab? <laughs> no, would that be pretty cool? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think it could happen. I think it happens more more often than you think. Really, probably. And, and, and how come how come it is when people you know they screw up their lives? They're, they 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 drink and drive. They 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 say horrible things to their wives when they when they drink. They they, they ignore their kids. They 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 take all these horrible drugs and then and then. When 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 they go to rehab, people they stop and people praise them like they're a hero. So if you just do horrible horrible things and then stop doing horrible things, you're wonderful. It's it's like saying you only have so much time to complete this th this in your mind. You know it's only going to take you two weeks, but instead you say three weeks, and yes. then for getting it done early, you're like a magician. You get or a bonus. Like yeah that. yeah yeah. So I was figuring I could really screw things up. And then just go and say, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go to rehab. Um, I'm going to play some video games and bingo, sit in my pajamas all day. All day, every day. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you don't have to work. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It sounds like you're living the life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I imagine that, you know, it's, it's there are some things that aren't fun about it because you can't go out. You can't go to the mall. You can't, you know, you can't Who go to a movie. that stuff? Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I figure, you know, they. I think they have. I think they might go to the the, the, the zoo or something sometimes. A group activity. Field trips. Field trips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So I was thinking, I don't know. I've just been hearing good things. I, they probably have a basketball court. You could probably, you could probably read. You know, catch up on some reading. Read. People don't yeah. demand anything out of you because you know you're kind of crippled because you're in rehab. Yeah, I so, mean that it's, uh, it's nothing better than that. Right, right, right. You you know you, your family they they just want you to stay in there until you get better. So I was thinking that was good because I you know life my life's busy. You know I I, I got a Very. lot of things going on. And, and a lot of things being required of me, so it's kind of like a spa. It was, I was thinking either go to a to a spa or on a cruise, or to rehab. Rehab kind of sounds like a very very good decision, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I always want my child to go to rehab. I, think, I could come with you. Yeah, you know that's the thing is is you have to go alone. I think unless unless uh, we both become addicts <laughs> together. Is there like a juvie rehab? Was it juvie like like it's cheaper for two than one or oh like a two kid for rehab. one deal? Yeah, well that would be a juvie. No, oh you mean like juvenile? Yeah, like oh, juvenile. Oh, I thought hall. you were talking about a bargain. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a juvie rehab. I think it's I think it's called juvenile hall. That doesn't sound like very no, pleasant. No, no, because there's bars and not bars. Well, yeah, there's bars. You live behind <laughs> bars, but not, yeah, not, not, like, not like drinking bars. Not like or drinking anything. bars. You know, there's not like a swim up bar where you. Sit in the nice warm water, and and someone gives you a drink with an umbrella in it. I could do that. I could dig that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I think <laughs> I think maybe we could maybe there's a father son rehab we could go to. Father son rehab. Yeah. We'd have to do something together. Get addicted to the same sort of drug or alcohol. Well, I think we're both addicted, and you know what it is. You're looking at it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're addicted I mean, to Call of Duty. Pretty much. I mean, I've played a little bit too much than the normal person. A little bit too much. A than little I bit. Have. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, a sure. lot. A lot of bit. You know, the first sign of an have. addiction is denial. You don't really understand. <laughs> that, that's what I'm in right now. Right. Exactly. You don't really understand all the things that that you're missing. And and actually, son, the reason I hope brought this whole thing up is because I want to have an intervention with you. And I don't oh. mean intervention like the sniper rifle. Oh. Okay. Okay. No. No. Okay. I want to have an intervention. I think. You've been playing a little too much. You've been ignoring your responsibility. Your pets are starving. Oh, well, yeah, all I, I heard that is, one of them might have died. Yeah, maybe. All the, maybe. I'm too lazy to get up out of my chair and go check. Their poop is all over the lawn. You know, oh, you're not taking uh, care of it. Oh, okay, so I, okay, I'm here to uh, confront you. I think you're going to need to go to rehab. I, I'll take it on. You yeah. know, I, I'll have to power through this horrible rehab place we've been conversing over this whole commentary. Right, and I, I've been looking for, uh, for look. I've been looking for one for you, and I found one with Wi-Fi. Oh, that's what I need. But yeah. I prefer Ethernet. But oh, well, yeah, as long as you can play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I always need that four bar connection. But you know, lag compensation in Modern Warfare Three kind of screws you over a bit here and there. Uh, sure, sure. That's that's true. <laughs> so so we, you need to go to Call of Duty Rehab. That's what I was thinking. And I'll go on a cruise. So would there be Call of Duty allowed in the Call of Duty Rehab home? You know, I'm not sure. I was thinking you might have real weapons. You can't <laughs> you can't take it away <laughs> cold turkey, can you? No, maybe like only you can, they cut you down to like six or seven hours a day. Only? Well, you know you gotta start off. You gotta you gotta cut back. Yeah, it is rehab, so we have to be we can't rehabilitated. Have you, you can't be jonesing, going out and sneaking out into into and stealing Wi-Fi from people in their neighborhoods just so you can play some Call of Duty. Pwn some player. noobs, get some Moabs. I mean, yeah. I think I want to go to rehab. Yeah, I, I think you do. I think you need some COD rehab. Sounds and, like good. Yeah, and I'll go to rehab for, I don't know, just licking my toes. <laughs> Sounds good. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this dad duel commentary. Always with the victory, guys. Again, this gameplay was pretty entertaining, in my opinion. You guys could leave a like down below. You could also follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page. Thanks. Right here, it's been Quad MFT. And, and we are out of here. Thank you guys for watching this video, and on the left you'll be able to click on my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday, a series that I have going on every single Wednesday, and on the right you'll be able to click on a mystery video, which is a randomized video that of the week I have chosen, so if you guys like this video, you'll definitely want to be clicking on that. It's been QuadMFT, and I'll see you guys next time.